Since his F1 debut, Max Verstappen has pulled off feats that left even the most seasoned F1 fans and pundits speechless. We're talking about drives that defy logic, strategy calls that seem to bend time, and performances that make you question the laws of physics. From coming back from huge deficits to mastering tricky conditions that even F1 legends struggled with, Verstappen has time and again proven that the word impossible doesn't apply to him. He's not just winning races, he's rewriting the very definition of what's achievable in a Formula 1 car. So, here are five times Max Verstappen did the impossible. 2023 Miami Grand Prix Max Verstappen, the reigning world champion, found himself in an unusual starting position, ninth on the grid. A drive shaft issue during qualifying had left him on the back foot and everyone wondered if Max could win from there. As the lights went out, Verstappen's Red Bull launched forward like a caged lion, ready to pounce. By the end of the fourth lap, he had already made up two positions, but the real work was yet to begin. Lap after lap, Verstappen meticulously picked off his rivals. It wasn't just raw speed, it was calculated aggression. He wasn't making wild lunges but instead choosing his moments perfectly. A dive here, a switch back there, it was like watching a grandmaster play chess at 200 miles per hour. By lap 15, he was up to second. Then came the master stroke. While others pitted early, Verstappen extended his stint, pushing his hard tyres to the limit. When he finally pitted, he emerged with fresher rubber than his rivals. What followed was a masterclass in tyre management and raw pace. With just a handful of laps to go, only his championship rival Sergio Perez stood between Verstappen and an impossible victory. The gap shrank lap by lap. Finally, with just 10 laps remaining, Verstappen made his move. A brilliant overtake into turn one, and suddenly he was in the lead. The ball's wheel to wheel, and round the outside, will it be the lead? It's close between the two of them. The crowd are roaring, and Max Verstappen takes the lead at the Miami Grand Prix, having started ninth on the grid. He's passed his teammate, he's passed all of them. From ninth to first, defying all expectations, Verstappen had done it again, turning what seemed like an impossible task into a stunning victory. 2020 70th Anniversary Grand Prix At the time, the world was in the grip of a pandemic, and Formula 1 ran back-to-back -back races at the Silverstone track. But this wasn't just any race, it was the celebration of F1's 70th anniversary. Leading up to this race, Mercedes had been utterly dominant, winning every race of the season so far, often finishing 1-2. Their car, the W11, was hailed as possibly the greatest F1 car ever built. Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas seemed untouchable. Heading into the race weekend, Max Verstappen qualified fourth, behind both Mercedes and Nico Hülkenberg's racing point. The general consensus was that the best Verstappen could hope for was a third place finish, but Max had other ideas. As the lights went out, Verstappen made a solid start holding his position, but what happened next started to raise eyebrows. While the Mercedes cars began to struggle with their tyres in the unusually hot British summer, Max's Red Bull seemed to glide around the track. Lap after lap, Verstappen's times were consistent consistently fast. He wasn't just keeping up with the Mercedes duo, he was catching them. Around the midpoint of the race, Verstappen was right on Hamilton's tail. With everyone struggling with tyre wear, his race engineer asked him to back off and save tyres, but Verstappen replied, Mate, this is the only chance of being close to the Mercedes, I'm not just sitting behind like a grandma. Mate, this is the only chance of being close to the Mercedes, I'm not just sitting behind like a grandma. And he didn't. With a bold move, he swept past Hamilton, but he wasn't done yet. He had set his sights on race leader Bottas. As the laps wound down, Verstappen's pace was relentless. He caught and passed Bottas with ease. The impossible was happening. Verstappen to attack, and as they go through Brooklyn, it's wheel to wheel. Mercedes against Red Bull, round the outside now at Lovefield. Verstappen has got a car length in front, and the inside line for Bottas isn't going to help him there. Verstappen is away, and back into the lead non-Mercedes car was leading a 2020 Grand Prix on pure pace. In the closing stages, Mercedes threw everything at him. They split their strategy, trying to catch Max out. But the young Dutchman was unfazed. He managed his tyres perfectly, maintained his pace and crossed the line first. As he took the chequered flag, the F1 world was in shock. A couple of corners for his ninth victory in Formula 1 to win the 70th anniversary Grand Prix. Verstappen gives Red Bull the win. Verstappen hadn't just won, he had beaten both Mercedes fair and square in a season where that seemed impossible. This was Max Verstappen's ninth victory in Formula 1. 2019 German Grand Prix 
Starting from second on the grid, Max Verstappen got off to a decent start but struggled to find grip in the wet conditions. As the race progressed, it turned into a game of survival. Cars were sliding off the track left and right. Even the great Lewis Hamilton wasn't immune, spinning and damaging his front wing. Verstappen held his own, staying in contention near the front. But then, on lap 26, disaster seemed imminent. Coming into the stadium section, Max's Red Bull suddenly snapped sideways. For a heart-stopping moment, it looked like his race was over. The car completed a full 360-degree spin, tyres screeching and smoke billowing. Has Verstappen just been off the track? Now he's had the spin there. Oh, look at that, underneath it, doesn't it, underneath the car and all that. But somehow, miraculously, Max kept the engine running. As the car completed its pirouette, he found himself pointing in the right direction. Without missing a beat, he put his foot down and carried on as if nothing had happened. It was a moment of pure instinct and car control that left commentators and fans alike in awe. Instead of being rattled by the spin, Verstappen seemed energised by it. He began to dance through the rain with even more confidence. As others faltered in the challenging conditions, Max excelled. As the laps wound down, Verstappen found himself in the lead. He went on to finish the race in first position. From Max Verstappen, the winner of the German Grand Prix, Sebastian from a full spin that should have ended his race to standing on the top step of the podium, it was a turnaround that defied belief. In a race where even staying on the track was a challenge, Max Verstappen turned a potential disaster into triumph. 2019 Austria Grand Prix Starting from second on the grid, Max Verstappen was poised for a strong race, but then disaster struck. As the lights went out, Verstappen's anti-stall kicked in. His car barely moved as the rest of the field streamed past. By the first corner, he had plummeted to seventh place. The Dutch fans in the grandstands were stunned. Surely their hero's chances of victory had evaporated in those crucial first seconds, or so they thought. If there's one thing everyone knew about Max Verstappen, it was that he never gave up. As the race unfolded, Verstappen began a methodical charge through the field. His pace was blistering and his overtakes were clinical. One by one, he picked off his rivals. Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, Lewis Hamilton all fell victim to Max's relentless pursuit. But up ahead, Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari seemed untouchable. The young Monegas driver had led from the start and looked set for his first Formula 1 victory. With 20 laps to go, Verstappen was still in third. The gap to Leclerc seemed insurmountable. But then, something remarkable happened. Max found another gear. His lap time suddenly dropped, and he began to reel in the leaders at an astonishing rate. With 15 laps to go, he passed Bottas for second. But could he catch Leclerc? The crowd was on its feet. The impossible suddenly seemed possible. Verstappen was right on Leclerc's tail as they started the final three laps. They hurtled towards turn three, a tight right-hander. Max dived to the inside late on the brakes. The two cars touch, wheels banging. For a heart-stopping moment, it looked like they might both spin off. But somehow, both cars emerged from the corner. Verstappen was ahead and Leclerc was pushed wide. The crowd went wild. From a disastrous start to a last lap overtake for the win, Max had done it. The stewards investigated the final overtake, but after hours of deliberation, they declared it a racing incident. The victory stood. This wasn't just a win, it was a testament to Verstappen's never-say-die attitude, his raw speed and his ability to perform under immense pressure. 2023 Italian Grand Prix the air was thick with anticipation as Max Verstappen sat in P2. This wasn't just any race, there was history on the line. Verstappen had won the last nine races in a row, equaling Sebastian Vettel's seemingly unbreakable record from 2013. One more win and he was standalone in the F1 history books. But in the cutthroat world of modern Formula 1, this seemed like an impossible challenge. As the lights went out, Verstappen made a clean getaway, but he was behind Ferrari driver Carlos Sainz, who was feeding off the energy of the passionate to Fossey. Lap after lap, Verstappen kept the pressure on. The gap never extended beyond a couple of seconds. One mistake from Sainz and Max would be in the lead. Verstappen overtook Sainz on the 16th lap, seizing the lead from the Spanish driver. And the Ferrari is inching back ahead, centimetres between the leading pair in the Italian Grand Prix and Max Verstappen takes the lead. From that point on, Max never looked back. His driving was metronomic, his focus laser sharp. He hit his marks lap after lap, managing his tyres with the precision of a surgeon. As he crossed the finish line, Verstappen punched the air in triumph. He had done it. Ten wins in a row, a feat many thought impossible in the modern era. It was a reminder that sometimes, even in a sport as complex as Formula One, individual brilliance could rewrite the history books. 
Now, was this the only time Max Verstappen did the impossible? Not at all. Want to know what other races where Max Verstappen defied the odds? Well, click the thumbnail on your screen to find out.